Hello ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like quite a while since last I've been in touch, uh, but back I am on Clapham Common, uh, enjoying the spring weather, or I thought I was, but it's actually slightly taken a turn for the worse. We've got a uh, Aussie rules game going over there. Um, silly Aussies, they know nothing about football. Um, strange weekend in the Premier League, wasn't it? Um, big wins for Liverpool and Spurs, drop points for Chelsea. Who saw that coming? Man United, City, and the lost Gooners as well. Big wins at the bottom of the the table it's all happening nine games to go business end of the season make or break time first up we had the Merseyside derby two teams in fantastic form Everton had only one loss in their last nine games big hype that they could finally end that barren run uh, at Anfield but they simply didn't deliver they were torn apart by three moments of genuine top top world-class quality Sadio Mane Liverpool's main and most consistent weapon this season with a sparkling first Coutinho with the goal of the season contender turning inside Ben Pennington as if he wasn't there and then Origi a top top pro because he, he only gets 10 or 20 minutes every game uh, but what a finish that was and it's difficult to get, keep your form keep your focus when you're when you're in and out the team as he is uh, so that was very very impressive Coutinho with a man of the match performance um, great to see the chirpy uh, sparkling Brazilian back in form after a quiet start to 2017 um, Spurs, they didn't know what was going on in West uh, London as they kicked off away from home at Burnley. Tough place to go. Um, but And so to deliver such a comprehensive team performance was very, very impressive. Deli Alley, 11 goals in his last 12 games, but this was all about his assist for Son for the... the uh, the second goal which wrapped up the points after Dyer stabbed home the opener, opener even. Uh, he's so composed, he's got fantastic vision, uh, a real athlete, he really is the full package, a complete joke of a player and it's biz it's totally mind-boggling that he's still only 20. Uh, yeah, seven points is now the gap uh, between Spurs and uh, Chelsea at home to Palace uh, and come on, oh we've got a little dog here joining, joining the fresh from the dugout of fun. Uh, seven points is now the gap. Um, Palace were fortunate, all their players played to the maximum and Hennessy made 11 saves. Uh, seven points is the gap though and uh, Chelsea still have to play City tomorrow night, which now is a massive, massive game for the title race. Uh, I'm, if I was a betting man, I would actually put a cheeky tenor on Spurs just because you got fantastic returns. Uh, and the, you know, how exciting would that be? Chelsea still have to play uh, United, City, Everton and uh, Spurs, whereas Spurs have a much, much easier run in. Uh, it'd be a thrilling, thrilling comeback from here. Uh, Arsenal Man City was a strange game really for me. Uh, there were moments of seemingly world-class quality, but when, when the defences really aren't there, are they really that impressive? Um, Arsenal, when they lost the ball, simply didn't have a midfield. Xhaka was all over the place and not working hard enough for me. Flop of the season after all the hype over him in pre-season that he was going to be the man to stabilise Arsenal's midfield. Hasn't really happened for me, Xhaka. Uh, and the way they celebrated Walcott's equaliser, or simply didn't celebrate the Walcott's equaliser, showed a distinct lack of morale in and amongst the club. And it can't be helped by the manager's situation. Uh, they've uh, only won, I think, three of their last nine games. It's a dire, dire run in. There's confusion over the manager. The fans are in civil war. You should have seen the video of them attacking the Arsenal fan TV players, uh, stars, the other night. It, it's all it's all seemingly in disarray. Uh, needs clarity on his future sooner rather than later. Sunderland, one win in your last ten, and realistically, you now need five wins of your final eight games to stand any chance of staying up. And it's just not going to happen, I'm afraid. Um, the play is flat, easily defended and one-dimensional. At this level, at the Premier League level, you need goals and quality to win games. And when Defoe's not firing, Sunderland simply don't have it. Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's a shame to have to admit defeat at this stage, but I expect relegation coming soon. As for the Sunderland fiasco over the last few days, I think everyone needs to take a deep breath and just, just calm it all down, calm it all down. Moyes' comments were a bit weird and not in his character, but were they massively sexist? I don't think so. Uh, I'm obviously not condoning hitting or, sl or slapping or threatening to slap women. That's obviously not on at all. But what he said, I think you'd say to a man or a group of men, a fact he made, made clear when he said, you're, uh, you're heading to the way of a slap uh, even though you are a woman. By saying even though you are a woman specifies that he would say that same thing to a man. Uh, so I don't, I don't really see the same fiasco. 
Um, it's the sort of thing that I would use all the way, all the time to a mate, like, oi you cheeky kiwi gobshake, shut your mouth, you're getting a slap in it. It's, it's a very Scottish saying, uh, I don't think he meant anything of it, um, and I think everyone needs to calm down. The journalist laughed at the time, he apologised, she accepted the apolog uh, apology and we move on. Heads do not need to roll. Uh, it was a strange remark and a bit inappropriate to say, um, but it wasn't inappropriate because it was said to a woman. Uh, unless he wouldn't say it normally, unless he wouldn't say it to a group of men and then at that stage it becomes sexist. But I believe he would say it to a man and in which case all, all the people just need to calm down, calm down with the blogs, with the articles, all saying he's some sexist who needs to lose his job. Um, anyway, we move onwards and upwards or in, yeah, in Sunderland's place, most likely downwards. Uh, the league rolls on, we've got nine games to go, the uh, games are back on tonight and tomorrow night. Drink it in, lads, there's only nine games to go. This is the time where managers earn their paychecks, when players become heroes. FA Cup glory, Champions League and the Premier League finale. Tuck in.